Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about modular design, which I believe to be an incredibly important process in game development. Modular design is basically the process of creating simpler code. Well, not simpler code, simpler forms of code that people can then use afterwards. So, for example, if I was to create a code about level design, we want different objects to behave in different ways, but we can all control this under one script, and that is what I've done here for our example. So in our game, every single piece on the floor has a tile script. Now, because it plays a major part in the game, this script can actually be controlled in many different ways. There are four different effects that this script can have, but you cannot see that looking in the hierarchy. All right, so maybe we can check inside the actual script and see if we can understand how it all works. No, we can't even do that, okay guys, because it is very important to separate and organize your code. Obviously guys, I know exactly how the script works and what it does, but I am saying this in an example where you give it to somebody else to work on, will they understand it from the hierarchy alone of Unity? So, in this example I'm going to teach you how to pretty much separate it so that people know exactly what they do. So obviously we need a way to call all these functions, right? There are heaps of functions in the script that could possibly happen through different types of objects. But in this example, I have set a tile function function, right? The tile function function basically calls every conceivable reality at the same time. If there is a true statement on it, then it will say, yep, we'll go through with that. If there is a false statement on it, we'll say, no, we won't do that one, but we'll do the ones with true on it. And if none is selected, we won't do any of them. We'll just treat it as a basic tile. So pretty much the way I've said it is that every single time the box hits the tile, Tile, it calls the tile function so that whatever the tile is made or set to do it will eventually do and the way we set whether or not we want it to do stuff is using the booleans at the top right which are the true or false statements and we've set this up into four categories right with the true or false statement up the very top very important because this structure is just the way that I would like to work obviously it can be different for you guys but this is the way I like to work so what I've done in the script is actually started to separate it with space right obviously the space only plays a big role in our worlds because we're programming this game so now if we give it to a level designer they can't see the space all right so what do we do well we add something called headers now headers are sort of like comments for the hierarchy of unity to create this is quite simple all we want is a square bracket header normal bracket quote what we want the name of our header to be unquote bracket square bracket and there does no need to close this off with a semicolon because that is just for regular script this is for unity hierarchy so that's okay to just leave it as is So now if we go into Unity, you're going to notice the inspector. Now for each individual function that I call, it's all activated by the very top variable, right? The boolean at the very top that says, do you want this to be a power input? Do you want this to be a teleport input? And if that is selected, then everything underneath still applies, which means that you create options for yourself using the structure that we've just created. So underneath power input, you put everything that a power input needs until we get to the next header, then we put everything that the next one needs and we keep going and going and going and this way you can add, add as many as many different types of functions as you like. So I know this was a very basic tutorial but I still think it is incredibly important to keep everything organized and keep thinking ahead sort of like what does things need and when are they going to happen. Anyway thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time. So the tile script here has a tile function which is called every single- holy shit there's a fucking mouse holy crap. <laughs> Fuck that man, fuck that. Oh. <laughs> There's a mouse by the mouse. Ah!